Hello, it's me, not the Annie. Well, it's time for another pick. So, she had fun last week with the Amazonia. I figured this week I'd go something with her a little less bright, but not as less bright as the gray palette was. So, what I've picked from her collection is the Face Candy Sugar. And as you can see, not quite as bright, but nicely uh, varied. Also, shimmery. So this will give her a little bit of a challenge. It has a couple of mattes, but most of it is shimmers. So, fourth one for the merry month of May. I hope she has fun with it. Hi guys, it's me, it's Anne. Yes, no, really, it's it's the Anne. Yeah. Anyway, it being a Sunday in May, we have another episode of the He Chose What series. And I have the box. And he tells me he has chosen. I took the doggies out, so... I have absolutely no idea what he's put in the box. Let's see. Oh. Okay. He seems to be on a face candy kick. It is another face candy. It is the sugar palette. Now. This is a 10, so I can't really fold back the top with the mirror. So we'll have to do it this way. We have 18 colors, most of which are named for confections of some sort. We have licorice, blackberry tart, brownie, gingerbread, mocha, pistachio, s'mores, chocolate cake, blueberry pie, cinnamon sugar, hot cocoa, candy, creme brulee, sugar and spice, cherry pie, glazed latte, and whipped cream. Now, i got to be careful saying latte because that's my dog's name, one of the dogs. That's my girl dog's name, and she's liable to go, what? But, yeah, anybody who's used to some of the Too Faced stuff in tins may think of some of those pieces when they see this, because I'm pretty sure that's what Face Candy was thinking. Anyway, I'm going to get the box out of the way, get the mirror set up, and I will be back in just a minute to get to work. Alrighty. Yep, I'm back. Blind as a bat. No eyes. And I think I've got everything set up so I can get started at least on my eyes. I won't guarantee anything else. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I put on what very little tiny bit was left of my apto. It's all gone. <laughs> yes, I've got it on my in my cart or more, but they're currently out, so or they were when I last looked. I get a bit of funding coming up shortly, so I will get more of it as soon as I've got it. I put on the Pixie Skin Treats H2O Skin Drink out of the Ipsy bag and some of the Super Goop that I got from Pink Sweets and some of the Zero Sweat Lotion that I picked up on the recommendation of Angie from 4F Beauty. And now I'm going to take one of my favorite eye bases, the AOA White. And I'm going to smear it all over my eye.
Yeah, I've also got the um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator on the lashes and eyebrows. And the skin tint that I currently have on is the e.l.f. Serum Foundation in Light. I'm rather fond of the Serum Foundation at this point because going into warmer weather it's really, really, really easy on the layering because it is so liquidy. It's not thick. It's not pasty. So I've got all of these layers with the sunscreen and the anti-sweat stuff and the serum foundation just makes it easy to put on, God help me, that one more layer that you need to kind of even out your skin tone. And then, do this eye. I was complaining the other day about there being so cotton picking many layers. And I'm going, okay, I get, I need moisturizer because my skin is dry. And heaven help me, I live in what's considered part of the high desert region in southeastern Oregon. So the humidity is practically non-existent. After doing four years in Florida, let me tell you, this is a joy. Florida was hot and humid 24-7, 365. And it was nasty humid. And I do mean nasty humid. <clears throat> now, any anybody that, that is absolutely in love with Florida, you go right on ahead and be in love with Florida. I was raised near the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. I like going up in the mountains where even if it's humid, it's cooler. So, yeah. You get down towards Alexandria and D.C. and that area, you've got the same kind of humid, but you've only got it for a couple of months with the heat. Florida is like that forever there's like two days of winter literally every year that I was down there for four years we had two days where I had to put a jacket or a sweater on because it was chilly and that was the Christmas weather hey oh. I just did not understand that weather I really didn't so, I'm still not entirely sure exactly where I am going to start with this, but I've done a lot of reds and purples recently, so I may go towards more of the browns, just to be different. Maybe brown and pink. Yeah, I got the tomato soup shirt on. I may do brown and pink. Now, the licorice color in here is really interesting. It's a bit of a shimmer, but it's not a really intense shimmer. But while it's 
a shimmer it's pretty close to the darkest thing in the palette the next darker ones are the blackberry tart which is purple blueberry pie which is a purpley blue shimmer and gingerbread and mocha which are shimmers they had fun with the shimmers in these they've got brownie as kind of a intermediate shade and hot cocoa is kind of an intermediate shade in mattes but they're not really as dark as what I wanted to do out here in the outer corner so I'm going to start with a little bit of that licorice and probably go to something slightly lighter as I work my way across. been looking for a reason and an excuse to use the licorice because I'm one of those weirdos who likes licorice so yeah not just the color the candy I don't know if you'd call it lucky or not because my husband likes it too, so we kind of fight over it a little. It's like, who ate the last of the lit? Never mind. Because it isn't anybody else in this house. We just weird that way. pick up the brownie now like I said <laughs> beauty glazed has their own website but it's been down ever since shop hush went down <laughs> but beauty glazed is still showing up on Instagram very actively and so I don't know what's going on with them and there's face candy and beauty glaze still on Amazon so like I said I'm still not sure what is actually going on if we've lost the two brands or not okay this is brownie but I've also noticed we've got some new brands coming up on Amazon and I'm gonna have to go look at some of those just to see what's going on there and some of them are coming out immediately with huge palettes full of brights. And I'm going, hmm. Okay. Brownie. And I'm going to take the brownie under the lower lashes. Instead of dragging the licorice down. Because I'm trying to keep this a little bit light I mean it's it's like Sunday afternoon not Saturday night now one of the things that I have liked about face candy and 
beauty glazed and some of the rest of them if you get a good palette of theirs there's a lot of color there's a lot of pigment it's a whole lot easier to work with than you might think yeah sometimes you get some that are really crummy in more ways than one but it's it it's the kind of hit and miss that you get with the big names so it doesn't really bother me that not everything is always perfect you know that's like you take that risk no matter what company let's see where am I going to go now I think, well, there is that problem. I do occasionally think, which sometimes gets me in real trouble, but I think I'm going to use cherry pie, which is this pink down here. Actually, it's at the top, but... You know what I mean. Now I'm going to try this just as it is dry to start with and see what happens. Start with it dry, see what happens. Actually, that's not too bad. Give it a little bit of a drag, and it's foiling pretty well, even dry. Somebody got awful pale with their cherry pie, though. Alrighty, now I've got that little bit of inside corner there, and I'm wondering if I can get away with putting just a little bit of green in that inside corner, since I've got this lovely color called pistachio. We shall see. We may end up going oops and ripping it all off.
la 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 fallout going on. <clears throat> I think I'm liking that. I'm afeard it's like subtle for me. <laughs> Could be interesting. Put this down for a second. pencil here just for the heck of it I'm going to leave it alone, sneak off camera, do the other eye real quick, probably put my eyebrows on, throw a little powder around, maybe start picking up the blush and so forth. And in case you're wondering, yes, my hair is all still here, but it's all bobby pinned up in little curly things. So that I get some body to this. I'll take care of that too while I'm off. Back in a minute. Hi. I'm back. Yes, I just sprayed my face. Yes, I know. It's actually an excuse to show off a new fan, but hey. Now I'm going to set this out of the way just a little bit because the fan get the, the fan. The mirror does get in the way just a little bit. There. What do you think? The lipstick is LA Colors and the color is BLC249 Sorbet. I've got a mixture of the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus and the Wander Unlashed. And the 
AOA Skinny on the lower lashes. I used this brown eyeliner pencil. It's a um, felt tip pencil. On the upper lash line, I've got the e.l.f. pencil in blue in the lower waterline. The highlighter is the Ofra Star Island. The blush is Wet n Wild Color Icon in pearlescent pink that to me looks like coral. Whatever works for their names. The blusher is Ticket to Brazil by Wet n Wild. Ta-da! The finishing spray is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water Prep Set Refresh. I love this. I love the smell of roses. I may have to try one of the other scents just because. Just because. Anyway, this is our first look with our series of He Chose What? And using the Face Candy Sugar Palette. Now, from here, depending on how the weather lasts the rest of the day, we're probably going to go outside for a little while and I may be filming some digging up of dandelions for those people who were interested in the dandelion salad. And then I am probably going to be doing some walking around town with my phone in hand because I do Pokemon and Ingress partially because they keep track of how far I walk. And now that I've got my new walker, I can do that a lot more. I'll remind you again that the colors I used from the sugar palette are licorice, brownie, cherry pie, and pistachio. I've got the brownie and pistachio under the lower lashes. Yes, I'm admiring myself in the mirror in the in the in the palette. I did the my favorite elf eyebrow pencil. I've got some of the Ofra in the eyebrow highlight area. I used my AOA Studio white base. Tell me what you think. No, really, let me know. You know, let's have a talk. Anyway, I will put this up as soon as I get finished with all of the editing and such, and I will try my best in post-production, now that's what you call all that editing crap, to get the light balance so that you actually see the colors pretty close to what I see when I'm looking in my mirror. I don't do filters and, you know, face tuning and all that stuff. I just, no. It's not worth it. You want to see what I did that you should be able to do yourself if you want to. And that doesn't happen when you've got somebody who has done all manner of filters and face tuning and all that stuff. And it like blown their eyes up to like six times size. All that stuff. I mean, come on now. And I whine about the number of layers I've put on my face, but that's nothing compared to some of the layering I've seen done on some of the Instagram shots. And let's be real, with some of the Instagram lipstick shots, with the thick coat of clear to make it really shine, 
once that picture's taken and they move, that shit's blown, man. Pardon my French, but that's blown. It's like... This is the only product that I've used in a very long time that I have not in one way or another paid for. The next time I use it, it will probably be paid for. Um, Apto Skincare sent me the antioxidant mist and I have been loving it. It's good stuff. I will probably do an update when I get the new one in. One of my favorite spritzing things is a DIY version of a basic setting spray. That's what I use to wet my brushes with. I'm cheap. Anyway, if you find that palette and you like what happened here, I'm not going to tell you to run right out and get it, but if you find it and it intrigues you, I wouldn't tell you that it was a bad thing to do. No, I'm not sponsored. Some days I wish, because then I could have more toys. Anyway, I'm going to go dig out some dandelions. Be good.